So we are I am going to use this method 2x x here I am supposed to have 2x squared I am expecting to get 9x over here and negative 5 Okay, so factors of 5 I've got 1 and 5 What happens if I put 1 and 5 over here? So I have x when I take x times 1 I have 10x at the bottom What I really want is 9x Okay, so what do you think I should do to the x and the 10x? Which one has a negative sign? Okay, there should be a negative sign over here Therefore, there will be a negative 1 over here, isn't it? Okay, so now I have factorized it Didn't take too much effort 2x minus 1 x plus 5 equals to 0 This is called factorizing Am I solving yet? No Okay Something multiplied by something gives me 0 What does that imply? One of them is 0 Okay, so this tells me that 2x minus 1 equals to 0 Or x plus 5 equals to 0 Therefore, x equals to half or x equals to negative 5. Right? Okay. If you use a multiplication frame, you should still arrive at the same answer. This step is just working. It's not necessary. This step is necessary. It is important. Okay? So, I now want you to try it 3. Solve the equation 2x multiplied by 5x plus 3 equals to 9 multiplied by 5x plus 3. Okay, solve this. Again, uh, this time I'll give you 2 minutes. Okay, we'll stop at 135. Okay, now let me show you my working. All, please look at the screen. Show you something very important. How about I do this? Then I have two x equals to nine and x equals to uh, nine of nine over two. How about this? Oh, you, you look amazed. So is this correct or wrong? Huh? Wait, 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 what's wrong with this? Nothing is wrong, okay? So, that's it. Nothing is wrong. You're happy with this? Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's a catch. What's the catch? I, I heard that many of you say there should be two answers, right? And over here, I obviously only have one answer. So, this is incomplete. Anyway, what have I done by cancelling like this? What exactly am I doing? <laughs> Okay, I'm dividing. I'm dividing both sides by 5x plus 3. Anything wrong with that? No. Nothing wrong? Okay, let's see another approach. Huh? Let's take a look at another approach, which I believe most of you tried doing it this way. So, you have 2x, um, 5x plus 3, then minus 9, 5x plus 3. Okay, so you subtracted 9 times 5x plus 3, minus 3 on both sides, and you realize that there's a common factor. Right, Darius? Right? Yes, common factor 5x plus 3. What is uh, left for the first term? 2x minus 9. Okay, so this must be equal to 0, isn't it? Yeah. Therefore, what is our conclusion? 5x plus 3 equals to? Or? Or? Okay, or 2x minus 9 equals to 0. Okay, so here we have x equals to negative 3 over 5, or x equals to 9 over 2. Notice that if we compare this to what I did earlier on, um, 2x, 5x plus 3 equals to 9, 5x plus 3. If we compare these two, so we had 2x equals to 9, x equals to 9 over 2. Look at the difference. This is partially correct, isn't it? I've got one of the answers. Hey, they are the same. But this act of cancelling, Sorry? Yeah, so what exactly was I doing when I removed them? You mentioned correctly that I was dividing by 5x plus 3. What's the problem with that? Okay, looking back at this, what do we conclude over here? 
Only conclude. Five x plus three could be equal to zero. Is that going to be a problem if I try and divide by zero? Yes. Yeah. In this case, we are going to lose this this solution. It's lost. Okay. So the correct way would therefore be to factorize this way. All right. You should have covered this in lower side already. Okay. So. That's all that I want to cover for 2.1, which is simply a recap. So homework for exercise 2.1, we're going to do very few questions. Question 2B and 2F. That's it. Okay, just these two because I've got more homework for 2.3. That is my focus for today's lesson. Okay? Now this one, you'll combine with Exercise 2.3 homework. I'll let you know when it's due later on. Okay? So you'll be wondering, hey, what about topic 2.2? Yeah, we are going to be leaving that for later. Okay, we're going to be coming back to this topic 2.2 when we come to chapter 6. Alright, so let's skip this first. We shall now move on to 2.3. Okay, topic 2.3 is completing the square. <coughs> Alright, ready? I need all of your attention. All of your attention. Okay. Let's, uh, let us try solving some simple equations. x squared equals to 9. What's x? 3. Are you sure 3? 3 power squared plus minus 3. Alright, there are two answers. You shouldn't be telling me just 3 only. It is plus minus 3. So it's positive 3 or negative 3. Okay, let's try another one. Um, y squared equals to 121. What's y equals to? Okay, so 11 or negative 11. You can write it this way or you can write it this way, okay? Then we'll find. What if we have a squared equals to 8? What's a equals to? Uh, 8 plus root. root. Plus root. 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 What? Root. Root. This? Yes. Okay, so we have two answers again, right? So it is square root 8 or negative square root 8. Okay? Difficult? Not difficult. Okay, let's try something else. Um, x plus 4 squared equals to 25. Now, we have to solve for x again. What do you think the first step should be? Expand. Expand. So if I were to expand, I will get x squared plus 8x plus 16 equals to 25. Do all of you agree that we should expand? Okay, so what is your suggestion now? Square root? Square root both sides. Okay, anything wrong with this rate working? No. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with it. You'll still be able to get an answer. But how about, let's just square root both sides and we see what we get. So we have x plus 4 equals to? 5 or? Negative 5. What is x now equal to? 1 or? Or? 9. Negative 9, okay? Right? All agree? Now you see, if I chose to expand it out, I will eventually need to factorize again. And then I'll have x equals to 1 or negative 9. Both ways work. But I'm trying to tell you that sometimes when we have an equation like this, I want you to realize that hey, it's really easy to solve it. All we need to do is to just square root both sides. Yeah. Don't you agree? Yeah. Now, would you prefer to solve this one over here or would you prefer to solve this? Uh, left or right? Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, so um, let's try one more example. X minus 5 squared equals to 7. Okay, what do you think we should do? Square root, square root and we get... Okay, so x must be equal to? Plus 
5 plus square root 7 or 5 minus square root 7. Ah, okay. Very good. Now, some suppose I were to expand this out, okay? Let me just do some side working from here. X square, if I were to expand it out, I'll get x square minus 10x plus 25 minus 7 equals to 0 square minus 10 plus 18. Am I right? Okay. Suppose the question is to solve this. x squared minus 10x plus 18 equals to 0. How will you solve it? <coughs> Factorize. Shall we try factorizing this? Okay, let me, let me remove all these first. So now, new question. New question. I want you to solve this. x squared minus 10x plus 18 equals to 0. Factorize. Come on. You learn factorizing, right? Can we factorize? x with something, x with something equals to 0. What, what is this over here? Can we factorize? Cannot. How do you know cannot? Mode 3, 3. Because mode 3, 3 actually tells you that you're going to get a whole string of decimals, right? That is a clue that you cannot factorize it. Then how? Use the plus minus. What do you mean? For, oh, quadratic formula. What if, what if you... Uh, told not to use the quadratic formula yeah. then wouldn't it be great plus listen wouldn't it be great if I can change this form into this form then from this form I change it into this form and then I get my answer x minus 5 equals to plus minus root 7 then x equals to 5 plus minus root 7 is this the same answer as what your calculator told you when you tried to solve for this Okay, you get it? Wouldn't it be great if, if you were given this equation, there's some way for you to change it to this form, then there's some way to change it back to this form, such that I can solve for x equals to 5 plus minus square root 7. Plus 7. Ah, okay, plus 7. Ah. Okay, we will we'll figure this out together, okay? Alright, Darius? Okay, some warm-up questions. <laughs> I will now give you little squares. These are squares that measure 1 cm by 1 cm. Okay, 1 cm by 1 cm. I give you four of these squares. Can you form a big square with this? I give you these four little squares. They are identical. All 1 cm by 1 cm. Can you form a big square with this? Okay, what will you measure? Okay, so we will get this. 2 cm by 2 cm, right? What's the shape of this? a square. Okay, what if I give you, um, let's say, nine of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now arrange them into a square. Can you do that? Okay, obviously we are going to get three by three. Okay, then you see that the area is all the same, right? Okay, what if now I give you um, eight of them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Hey, I want you to form a square for me. Can you form a square? No. Yes. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> the outline. The oh, outline? No, no, no. No, no, I'm not talking about IQ questions. Okay? I'm talking about simply piecing them together to form a big square. I don't care about one big outer square, uh, little squares inside. No, I just want one square. That's it. Can you do it? Let's try and arrange them, okay? One, two, Three. Should I go down to the next row? Yes. Okay. Four, five, six. Go down. Seven and eight. Do I have a square? No, I don't. If only I have how many more pieces? If only I have one more piece. Okay. If only I have this. If I add one square, I would have completed the square. You get get it get it. If I add in one small piece, I would have completed the square, right? And you'll be measuring 3 by 3. Hey, let's try another example. Huh? Oh, I'm very tired of drawing squares. Let's say I have um, 13 squares. Okay, 13 little squares. I want to form a big square. Can I do that? No. No, okay. What do you think we will end up with? How many on the first row? Four. Four. Whoa, how do you know? Huh? Okay, four. Then next row, another four. Okay, another four. 
and then one. Okay. So I don't have a square. What should I do in order to complete the square? If only I have three more squares, then I would have completed the square to give me four by four to get sixteen, isn't it? Okay. This is with numbers only. Now what does what does this actually mean? Okay, what does this mean to you? Are you expanding? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you can choose to expand. But x plus 2 squared, doesn't that also mean this? x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 2? Yeah. If I draw it pictorially, shouldn't it look like this? x plus 2 over here. And over here, x plus 2 as well. Yeah. Agree? And if I show it this way. If I have this to be x, I don't know how much is it, okay? And over here, I have two units. Does this still make sense? x plus yeah, 2? Yes. Okay, and on this side, x and this side, 2. Does this still make sense? Yeah. Okay, what is the area over here? X the shaded one. Yeah, x squared, okay, excellent. So we've got x squared over here. What do we have over here? This part? 2x. This part? 2x. And the last bit? Four. This tells us that this is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 4, which is x squared plus 4x plus 4, which is how you expand it, right? Okay, so this is the pictorial representation, okay, for a perfect square like this. What happens if I didn't have a 4 over here? What happens if this is a blank? Is this a perfect square? No. no, it is not. What shall I do in order to complete the square? I need to add 4 in order to complete the square. And then the complete the square form will look right. x plus 2 square, agree? Okay. This is some uh, basics that we need to know first. Now, I give you another expression. x square plus, let's say, 8x. Is this a perfect square? Is this a perfect square? Can I write this as um, x plus something and then square? Is this a perfect square? No. Yeah, I can't do that. But I would like to try to do it. Let's look at what it means pictorially. x squared plus 8x. You have x, this is x. So this is obviously x squared, right? Now, 8x is simply 8 times x. Okay, let's say I have it over here. This is 8x. How much do you think this is? 8. And this must therefore be x, right? Okay, does this actually look like a square to me? To you? Does it look like a square, right? Uh, let's compare this with this diagram. Okay, there are some similarities, but not the same. Now I'm going to try and make this into a square. What are some suggestions that you can have? Plus one more 8x at the bottom. Then I'll still have a missing piece, right? So I still need to plus another 64 over there, isn't it? Any other ways? I don't want a, I want a small square. I don't want such a big square. Okay, how about... How about this? I try to split this into two equal parts. Okay. How much is this now? Four and four, right? Now I'm going to move this piece. I'm going to move it over here. Okay. So this is what I'll get. So this portion it will be? How much is this portion? 4. This must still be? X. X. Okay. So now this 8, uh, originally 8, I'm going to split it up into 4 and 4. Okay. This is 4. Is this diagram still representing 8 squared plus 8X? Uh, sorry, X squared plus 8X. Yes, it is still representing that. Is it a perfect square? No. What do you think I must add to... Oh, you guys are fast, huh? So what is the missing piece? 16. If I add in 16, what will I get? Perfect square. Okay, so now I want to add in a, a piece of 16, and what therefore will be a perfect square? 
what is your perfect square going to be? What are the dimensions? X plus 4, X plus four times X plus four. X plus 4. Okay, that is if I add in 16, right? Okay, so now, can I say that this x squared plus 8x is actually equal to x squared plus 8x plus 16 because we wanted to add in the missing piece, right? 16. Oh. Can I say that they are equal? Oh. oh, I can't. Then, how do I ensure that they remain equal? I added the 16 to the right hand side, right? What do you think I should do to ensure that the left hand side is still equals to the right hand side? X plus 4 bracket square. X plus 4 bracket square? No. Not yet, not yet. What do you think I should do to ensure left hand side equals to the right hand side? Because as we all can tell, they are no longer equal. Hmm? Plus 16 to which side? Yeah. To the left hand side. Hey, but the left hand side was originally my question, right? Uh, I don't want to change my question. What should I do? Minus 16, excellent. Minus 16. Okay? Now, are they the same? Yeah, yeah they are equal. In addition, we have done something magical. We have done something magical. What's so magical about this? This tree